I just briefly want to say that I did not know Mr. Hargrove very well. I met him late in life. That is his life. He owned a vast amount of land. I understand his grounds were home to an enormous number of exciting insects, flowers, and birds. It was a thriving, fecund habitat, an ecosphere, though Mr. Hargrove thought of it as no more than a swamp. I consulted with my grad assistant, Harvey Pishkin, whom I worked with for two years. He was originally from Cleveland. We conferred and then agreed the precious wetlands must be saved. They had to always be pristine. We could not tamper with their balance. So we begged and we implored of the late Mr. Hargrove's lawyers. They refused to listen. They could not be stopped. Every creature's home is an entity. Every domicile has an identity. Every dwelling has meaning and sanctity. Every place deserves to. So I asked my dear old mentor, sweet Professor Hinkle. He was my advisor and my teacher when I earned the first of my three PhDs. And his wife Lillian's really quite a marvelous gardener. Anyway, they both insisted Mr. Hargrove wasn't a nice man, but I tenaciously decided I could not let him turn his beloved land into a mall. Chen Lu is one of my best students, and he had friends in Tianmen Square. He said I had to act. Every tiny being on this earth has its purpose. I camped out alone in that wetland. And what land that wetland was, what land that wetland was. Oh, that bog was bubbling with life. Crickets chirping, frogs croaking. And a stray male loon plaintively calling his wife. I found my home. I was one of those creatures. I was a bug. I was a loon. Late that night, something approaches me. Yellow eyes stare at me. What could this monster be? It's Mr. Hargrove. He starts to scream at me. You have got to the count of five to get off of my property. No, I won't leave. He said, you must leave. I said, I must stay. He said, go away. I believe in passive resiliency. Sometimes it takes persistence and tenacity. I've resolved to fight steadfastly, stubbornly. Mr. Hargrove had to see. Several hours would pass before I finished explaining. Just before the sunrise, a change came. He started crying, his hands started shaking. He said, take the wetlands, they're yours, they're all yours, if you'll only shut up. Mr. Hargrove did a total about face that night when he donated all that priceless land and much of his estate to help our horticultural institute, and we are so incredibly grateful. So, in closing, let me just eat Mr. Hargrove. I think that you were a decent man in spite of what I've heard most people thought. I won't forget just how the moon shined off your ruddy sweating head and how for one amazing night you heard that quagmire come to life. I didn't mean to talk so long. Forgive me if I rambled. I am sorry. I'm all finished. So, 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 goodbye.